This video is brought to you by these fine companies. Black Spec Fishing and Tackle Company, Badass Baits, home of the Zipper Minnow. I got something that's been kind of weighing on me. You see a lot of people online complaining about companies and and different things, whatever it is, whether it's their vehicle, their boat, whatever. In this case, um, in my case, it's over a fishing rod and a fishing rod company and their customer service. And I think that it's very important when you buy something that you check. Check with your friends, check with people, and see what that company's customer service may be like. And I'm not saying necessarily talk to somebody that's on their field staff or their pro staff. Um, I would say talk to people in general who have them. And you can find plenty of people that have everything, obviously, online, whether it's Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, whatever it is. So I just want to talk to you about my little situation I had and it happened to be with ACC crappie sticks. They're a very well-known um, company that makes crappie fishing rods and what it was I have several of their poles but what it was is I bought this this pole right here it is a GS 06 M medium fast so I was in April I was down fishing on real foot lake and i went over to grizzly jig like everybody does who gets near grizzly jig they go there it's hard not to and i bought this rod and i'd been looking for it i didn't want to pay shipping on it so when i went to grizzly jig i purchased this rod well i get it home i don't really do anything with it for a while i put a put a reel on it and that was about it and i think i tied a jig on it so uh, fast forward i ended up going out fishing and on the second cast, literally, this happened. The rod broke right above the third guide on the second cast. Literally, my friend Brian casted it out, reeled it in. On the next cast, we heard a click, um, and the tip broke. Now. I'm not a fan of dealing with companies because I'm older. I guess I'm a Gen Xer, I think they'd call me. Um, I like to call and talk to somebody in customer service. You don't, you don't get that with most companies, and I didn't get that with ACC. Um, as I did some research, I had to email them. So what I did was I took pictures of this, and I sent them an email explaining what happened. And I've always been of the adage that fish don't break fishing rods, fishermen do. So I didn't know what they were going to do, what, how they would handle it, anything. So I emailed them. And I really didn't expect to get an email back anytime soon because a lot of companies, um, when you do that, they don't get back to you. It seems forever. Um, most of those types of companies, their, their customer service is really quite pitiful if you can only get a hold of them online. In this case, I sent that email. I literally got an email back within two hours and they were sending me a new tip no questions asked nothing and you know fishing crappie tournaments everybody wants stuff in a hurry I mean I, we all do we just do and I and I really I wanted it and I needed it back um, and I think they got the email on Tuesday or Wednesday and on Friday this this new tip that's on this rod right now was at my house and for it to get to my house I live in the middle of nowhere up in northern Michigan um, that kind of customer service they've got my business and I'm just gonna add a disclaimer I am NOT on their pro staff yes I fish crappie tournaments um, yes I do YouTube but I am NOT in any way compensated by them um, I'm just letting you know that their customer service, even though I couldn't make a phone call, was absolutely 
amazing. Um, it was it, it was literally uh, the easiest thing I've ever done, really. Probably easier than even a phone call, uh, just because they did respond. And, and I kind of experienced that with the first rod that I bought from them. I bought this uh, 13SG from them. This was back in December. They had a deal for no shipping or something like that. So I bought it. I'd been kicking it around, and, and I ended up purchasing it. And it got here so fast. I thought the lakes were going to freeze up before I got it, but it literally got here in two days. So if they got the stuff in stock, they're great. But more than that, the customer service was just fantastic. And, and, and nowadays, there's so many options out there of what you can buy, where you can buy it. Um, I highly recommend, you know, doing some research, checking out the customer service. I mean, if you checked out a company's customer service before you bought a boat or you bought a truck or anything, a four-wheeler, whatever it is, you're going to need their service department so and their customer service. So just check them out. Give them a shot. I know this. I'll vouch for ACC all day long, and um, their customer service was spot on. So it's real easy for people to go online and complain about something, and so many times you don't see the good in companies. Nobody ever talks about the good. They only talk about the bad. Um, they get online and complain and cause a big ruckus and just see how many people they can get to chime in with them. Um, you could have a bad experience anywhere you go, I mean, or less than desirable, whether it's less than desirable to you or just, or just plain bad. Um, we've all had those experiences, obviously. But with this day, you have many options where to spend your money. Uh, for me, these guys are great, and, and there's a lot of great companies out there. This is just my experience. And I wanted to share it with you all because so many times uh, good customer service just gets overlooked. If it's good, it's not talked about. If somebody has a problem, that's all you hear online. And there's just enough negativity on the Internet. So I just thought I'd put out something positive and say, thanks, ACC, man. You guys rock.